Welcome to Shadow Empress Tarot. I'm a messenger of the Most High with the power to travel through the shadow realms. I'm here to guide you through spiritual warfare so you can achieve your soul's desires. What you need to know is God is my guide, truth is my religion, and my channel is intense shadow work. So if you are mentally or emotionally unstable, you've been warned. So let's get started. Look, the collective, the chosen and the collective is being heavily attacked because it's time for them to move forward and to do what they came here to do. And so what it looks like is <laughs> they're waking up and dropping these vampires and they losing it but anyway if you are positive you better bless this place if you are negative you better get up on my face if you are positive you better bless this place if you are negative you better get up on my face and that's what literally the chosen is doing getting up out of these vampires face but Let's get into it, because I really don't know where it's going, but I, I, look, so, somebody, look, you got the Knight of Swords, you got the Empress, and you got the two of swords now this particular two of swords i know somebody is getting readings on somebody else are you getting readings without permission mm -mm -mm. no bueno but anyway you got the tower the five of pentacles reverse And the Eight of Cups. I'm a, I'm not, I'm a, it's a few cards out here, so I'm gonna just get started with that. Okay. So, what's on my board so far is, and the reason I, I am gonna do one more card, because there's, there's a lot out here, um, to just to let y'all see, because this is on the third row, that this is a chosen in the same row. This is at the top, and this is on, on the third card at the bottom. So this is definitely the Empress and the Star together. This is definitely a Chosen. Chosen in your bloodline, Chosen by God, whatever. So just to, to give you a little snippet of why I'm saying that. So let's keep going. This Empress bumped out. There is something, this this actual um, Knight of Swords is giving me the Knight of Wands. But whatever this person saw, they made up their mind quickly and bounced. Like, soon as they saw it, like, oh no, bye. Like, no. So there's something that this person saw. This, the tower, is up under the Knight of Swords. And they destroyed this relationship. They were like, I'm out. I do not have time for this. So what did they didn't have, what they didn't have time for, looks like this person up under the tower with the Knight of Pentacles, for somehow, some way, this person found out that this other person was trying to move forward and use them for money. Like being around them and slowly but surely, you know what I'm saying? You know, riding their coattails. This is giving me riding their coattails. Um, with this being up under the Nine of Swords in the tower, this 
person, this chosen, was like, oh, uh, no. Like, you can't have my energy. And it's so funny when I'm talking about the chosen and the energy comes up. This Ace of Cups comes up in the reading. I'm trying to drink out my cup. This is my energy. I'm not wasting my energy on you. Somebody using me. So, with this Five of Pentacles being reversed up under this Empress, this Empress. Stop. Giving them energy. Money. I'm not sure if this is actual. I think it's both. This is the Five of Swords reverse. It's like this person was like trying to be emotionally manipulate, mani manipulative to get this person like this was like a mental trap. Like playing mind games. Like I love you, I care about you, but I'm really just using you. And this Empress saw it. This Empress saw it and walked away. Chopped it up. This reverse knight of pentacles is all messed up in the head for whatever reason, because we got to get into it. Because this star, this empress walked away and started something new. A new life. This person is obsessed. And they want to know, this is up under the tarot, the, the two of uh, swords. This person wants to know about what they're doing, what they're creating. They are literally losing their ever-loving mind because they don't know what this empress is doing. Not only may this person may have been using this empress, but this, I'm feeling like a secret competition also. But this person is pulling on this Empress energy heavy with tarot cards. Either getting tarot reading, maybe this person is a tarot reader. But um, they are losing it. This was up under the Knight of Swords. Their absence they left because this person was a vampire and they saw it. This empress, this is not her first rodeo. If this is a chosen in the bloodline, chosen by God, both, whatever, or just uh, a person standing strong in their energy, this empress could see that this person was all about themselves. They was narcissistic. So I clarified under the tarot cards and stuff like that. They want to know why their charm, their mental manipulation didn't work. Because they've been friends or colleagues, I don't know what this is, for a long time. And now this person literally was like literally living on this person's energy everything that they did and had planned was based on this other person so now this person don't have nothing to do 
they don't know where their life is going because they were literally just following that empress. So now that the empress cut them off, they literally don't know what to do with themselves. The empress was the bag. So let's see. Let's get into it. What do they not need to know about this? I mean, I'm going to need people to learn how to use their own energy. But a lot of these people here, I'm telling you, souls don't have the energy inside. And they have no idea how to get it back. They have, they're on a negative in this earth realm. Like they owe. From this lifetime, from previous lifetimes of not, of doing what they call do out, um, do art thou wilt or whatever the hell. Well, basically you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want here. But not without pain. As above, so below, you pay. Certain experiences cost more than others. And other experiences actually allow you to attract and gain energy. And there's so many soulless people here because they have no idea how this works. So let's see. This person definitely was an energetic vampire. And when the empress left, they took their supply. So now this person is like obsessively thinking about this empress and pulling tarot cards. Like this is giving me Crazy in the cabeza. This is giving me like, I don't know if this is a friend, but like, you got the world. Yeah, they closed this cycle with this person. This is like, I'm not into this yet, but I'm kind of feeling like single white female. Because this person was like, let me just get into it. Yes! Up on the Five of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Look, and this is like a brain. Even though it's like the Ten of Swords being stabbed in the back. This person is losing their shit for whatever reason. They're, they're, I said they're losing their mind and they're obsessed. About like why this person do doesn't want to be around them anymore. Like it's almost like what did I do? Like what did they see? Could they tell that I was this? Could they tell I was that? Uh, 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 uh. Like I don't know what this is. There was a co also a competition going on. A secret competition. And it's almost like. Even though they're not getting this person's energy. It's more than that. It's like they're not next to this person. To compete with them. It's like they don't have anything to do with their energy. Because the competition is over. But they wanted to win. So while they was with this person. They was hella obsessed with this little secret thing that they had going on about betrayal. I'm going to be so much better than you. And oh, just watch me. I'm going to do it in your face. Like, this person is so crazy. How are you going to hang around somebody all the time that make you go crazy? And you, you can't think you don't like. This person is literally losing their ever-loving mind. Look at this. Look at this. Step, this person is losing their mind. Because this cycle is closed. You can't tell me this chick don't look crazy. With your tape on your nipples. Looking crazy. With your mask on. Your mask got taken off. So now you big mad. 
What's the truth, spirit? The tr oh my god. Da, 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 da. These cards. The Eight of Swords. I can't show this card, but I want to. Oh my god. Like her cho cha and everything is out. But look, the Eight of Swords over. The Eight of Swords over the Ace of Swords. So, this person, like I said, boredom. It's like they don't know what to do. This person was so obsessed with this other person that it, it was like consuming their life. And there's something that this Emperor saw and broke it off. What do they need to know about this spirit? What's up? Uh, you better not. Let me clarify this. This person, man, and I'm not the only reader picking up on this. That the chosen and high vibrational people are being attacked by magic and even if this is not literal magic the fact that this person's mind is so focused on this other person is magic it's all they can think of they are projecting all of their life force towards this person so it's magic you manifest through your mind what you think about, you bring about. So if this person is obsessed to the level that I'm seeing on my board, this is evil eye. This is destructive towards this empress. And it's strong. And even if this person is not doing actual magic and stuff by the moon and all this and that, the fact that you pull in a tarot card, that's magic. These cards are a portal to the things that are unknown, to the beings that are unknown, that to give you information. If this person is pulling cards, Right off the bat, they're using magical things, magical tools, magical principles to access this person. So we haven't gotten into it, but this person's mind is so focused on this empress and this cycle being closed. So what's up, spirit? This person is obsessed. They can't think of anything else. I wish I could show this um, Eight of Swords, but she is in like a bondage outfit with like her boobs and her chow chow every time. So um, this person's shadow has got them blinded. Like, what do they need to know, spirit? Position of th authority. This is over power. Yes, power. This is over the magician. Crusader. Is that what it is? Yeah, Crusader over the emperor, Empress. Hmm. This is a terrible competition, it feels like. This is like, what? Monastery. Let me clarify that because I have no idea. Oh, monastery. Okay, I got it, but I'm still clarify. Clarify spirit, monastery. So we can get deeper into that. Spirit. 
Yeah. Wow. Look. At the end, you got questioning authority. Of this under my monastery. Mystical. Like, man, these people. And this is up under the tarot card. Judge. Like, I think this is. Okay. This might be a continuation of like the stories that I've been telling you about this fight between this. I don't know. But. This is. Judgment. Hey, this person did do magic. It's not working. Because this person is in a position that they working on is in a position of authority. And they know they're getting judgment. Oh, so this, so this folio, this crazy person is trying to get tarot cards done because they need to know what's going on so they can do magic. So they, they trying to escape their judgment. So that magic is not hitting that person. So where is it going? This person is losing their mind because they scared. Oh, they scared. Because they know that the magic, that this person is monastery safe. You know, remember that people would put, you know, girls in monasteries for safety and all the safety and whatever. Boom, boom. Because they question this person's authority with magic. So this this might be a continuation because and that's the other reason I, that reading that person knew that they were trapped and they can see everything that they were supposed to be with this person but they know judgment is coming and they want they know judgment is coming and they want to avoid that they losing it because they know what magic they did <laughs> all that all that death and destruction that magic and is happening to them right now. They are losing their mind. But like this person is so narcissistic. Not only are they worried about what's coming back to them. But they literally. Look I think they should only be worried about that. But they literally still trying to compete at the same time. Can you imagine? You got to worry if you about to die. And you want to know, you trying to, you worried about being on top and being better? You don't know what to think about. This person is going loony. This person is losing it. This is reverse. Like, I can't look. Look at this. Now I know what this is even more. I, I can't, com not next to this person. Now I can't compete. My whole life has been like that since I've been this person's friend. And now I know my swords is coming back to me. Bruh. This person don't know if they coming or going. Oh, wee. So they pulling cards and pulling cards and pulling cards. Because they can't see. The, with the swords. They can't see the truth. And they need to know. What's going to happen. And what they need to do. But they're cut off. Ain't nobody coming through these cards. To tell them. They can't see. That the person energy is blocked. But they still pulling on their energy. What else do we need to know about this spirit? Look, this slid, when I slid the, set the cards down, this slid off to the side, onto another deck. This person don't know shit. They are losing it because this is what is in their mind. Fog. Wow. Oh, we. Do stupid, play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. 
What the hell? I literally have position authority out here and questioning of authority. So this chosen position of authority and this fool gonna question this person's authority and they effed around and found out. They effed around and found out playing with magic. Look, magic is not a game. What do they need to know, spirit? What we got here? Hey. This person. Hey, I think this is. There's another reading that I did about this. Here go to three again. One, two, three. This person has been working with other people to get this magic done to to because it wasn't working. And here's the three again. I think karma is hitting them. Clarify this. Why did that just happen? Okay, give me a second, y'all. I'm jumping on this energy. So, mm, here we go. This attack was heavily planned. There was meetings. I mean, this empress, they saw something about this other person, but they have no idea what was going on behind their back. This person was really trying to attack this person. They was doing magic. And look at the worry on all them face. Like, what? It didn't work? What? What happened was this person was so jealous and competing and had been pulling cards on this person for a long time. And this group, this, this person found out a lot about this other person, about their destiny and stuff like that. And they was trying to stop it systematically. Well, this is like a well-planned out attack. And everybody is stumped why it's not working. So it's not only just her scared. She didn't drag other people into it and everybody's scared. Because they all know what they plan to do and what they've done. One of the things that they found out about this person, this chosen, is that, wow. And this had ended up turning up on a magician and in between the one, two, and three, them planning, that this person is destined for fame and recognition and great love. Like, this person is probably, that they're supposed to meet is probably rich. And is going to love this chosen's dirty draws. <laughs> no, I just, but no, like, really love this person. And the magic that they've done was to try to stop this fame and recognition. And if they stop this relationship, because I think this relationship brings fame and recognition. So these fools were throwing dark ass destructive magic to make sure that this didn't happen. That this fame, this power did not happen. But she chilling because they found out they were throwing at a warrior. 
a fertile warrior with lots and lots of energy. Too much energy for even a group to handle. And this is on top of like, um, they are so stumped. Like this is, they didn't know this person was chosen. <laughs> And it was like when they found out, they just kept going and they, and they thought like, oh, if I get more people, I, it'll work. But they just didn't know how chosen, like, they should have stopped at no finding out that they were chosen, not get more people into this. Because the amount of people didn't matter. All they was doing was giving this chosen even more energy to work with. This, they were sending all their energy and this warrior was just alchemizing it and planting with their energy. They were literally pushing this person forward instead of destroying them because that's the type of chosen they are. Oh, this is burnt out. This chosen and took these fools energy and started planting seeds with it. Alchemize the energy. If this is like, <laughs> this person, I know this person burnt about this. <laughs> hey, it's not funny, but. Wow. No wonder this person is losing it. Oh, they didn't kill themselves. Oh shit. This energy. They are so afraid. My heart is beating right now. That's why I was like, woo! They are terrified. I'm heard they can't sleep at night. Oh shit. What's up with this spirit? Oh, really? For the first time you want to use these? Okay. Let's see. I've never used these cards either. This is a hot, stinking mess. They didn't send their energy to this, uh, <laughs> this chosen warrior. And they didn't create, they didn't grow a whole farm. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Hey, this is scary. Let me stop laughing because I would never do no shit like this. But if I did, because I know the rules and how this energy stuff works, I would be, I'm terrified for them. And they dead ass wrong. I don't like feel like, I mean, justice need to be served, but I mean, damn. As an empath, just to take a moment. And see it from their perspective. Being neutral in this reading. I understand why they're terrified. I would be too. I'm going to have just a tiny bit of compassion right now. And not laugh for like two minutes. Because you know. <laughs> Damn. What do they need to know spirit? This is burnt out. Now you got the five of cups out here on top of this magic and the plans and all that. Hey, they are sad. They are scared. I can't make this up because they know their fate. Ooh. -wee. Look, trying to take that power, that fame and recognition and destroying that and everything. Look, they know this one in particular one. No, they're going to, they're not going to with this. Now, even know even more with this five of pentacles reverse and this nine of pentacles reverse. This person knows that they will be affected financially. 
that they are going to be in poverty if they can't get this magic to work. Ooh, we my heart beat like my whole body at this point. They are like, <laughs> like at constantly, like all day. No wonder why they losing their mind because this, <laughs> it doesn't stop. They regret this. Oh, they regret this. On so many levels. What's up, spirit? And I have put that card back in here, too. Did I take it out? Oh, yeah, I didn't put it back. Let me see. It was coming out now. I'll put it back. But anyway. You got the nine of cups. Look at this person. Looking at this chosen. Still being abundant. Trying to use psychic gifts. Trying to peer, like peer into this person's energy. What's going on. Like, Because they know their energy is full. They, they, at this time, they know that they're just filling up this person's cup, sending them attacks. And this person, like, what the fuck? Why? That's not the intention. It's like their intention or what they were trying to do is actually doing the opposite. It's literally pushing them forward. Oh my God. Like, this attack literally had the opposite effect. That's how strong this chosen is. Ooh, let me. Ooh, uh, uh. Queen of Cups. Look, that's how strong this. They just collected. Look, this chosen. I can't make this up. Hey, I love tarot. This is my favorite. I can't make this up. Spirit is on right now. This chosen is just collecting all of their energy in these cups. <laughs> These fools were not expecting that. What a plot twist. Now this <laughs> hey, now this chosen even stronger. And they <laughs> and if they got more people at this time, this cup just gonna get bigger. Hey, let me stop laughing. Hey! Air this all right now. I'm enjoying this too much. I'm so sorry, y'all. Let me calm down. I just said, hey, they know if they get more people, there's nothing going to happen. This cup just going to get bigger. Then the king come out. The king of cups. <laughs> hey, spirit is not playing right now. Hey, let me stop. Okay. So, Spirit might be closing this out. <laughs> hey, this is terrifying. Hey, if any of you do magic out there, you know that this is terrifying. All bullshit aside, this chosen is a monster. This chosen is a Beast on a battlefield. This right here, they eat spell work for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. This is a baddie right here. This is a spiritual gangster if I ever saw one on my table. You got the eight of coins. Look at this. Like I told you, they're they're in it because they're clarifying everything I said. Like I told you, they planted seeds with the energy that they've been sending. They planted seeds 
I can't make it up. I told you already before I pulled this card. <laughs> what a dumbass. What's up, spirit? And look. Look. The queen like, ah, 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 ah. You gave it to me. And look, this evil. Like, I want it back. They realize what's happening. I want my energy back. How can I get my energy back? And the queen is like, ah, 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 ah. It's mine now. You gave it to me. Look at her. She big and fat with all their energy. And now they trying to scramble and get their energy back. And they ain't getting it back. You ain't getting it back. You going to throw at me? No, I'm the fat cat. <laughs> it's a joke. Closing out the spirit. This is amazing. What do they need to know? <laughs> hey, y'all, these people got to learn. Damn, this is a hard lesson on my table. This is a hard, hard lesson on my table. This is a lesson that they can probably be learning for a lifetime. Damn. Ooh. I said this is a lesson they can probably be learning for a lifetime. Look, let's see what they're closing it out with. You got the soldiers. To try to tip the scales. Look, they tried to bring in weight to tip the scales back in their favor. <laughs> they started a whole spiritual war. This is a heavy battle. They had to call in on the reserves. <laughs> To make it work. But this chosen has protection and guides, tons of guides to light the way and tell them what's going on. Yeah, that's why they bounced. And now it's time for judgment. Judgment has been called on those that dare to plan against God's chosen. All of them are in spiritual jail. So if this has helped you, please like, share, subscribe, and until next time.